WJCL News at 6, working for you. Coming on the heels of a violent 2014, WJCL News working for you to find out what Savannah's top cop is doing to fix it. Good evening to you. I'm Jennifer Andrews. And I'm Kevin Holmes. Chief Joseph Jack Lumpkin took over the department two months ago. Tonight, he talks to WJCL about what's going right and where the department needs to improve. WJCL's Nick Cotario joins us now live in the studio with more from the chief. Nick, what do you have to say? Well, you know, we've been talking about crime for a while. Homicide rate, the highest in 12 years. Total violent crime, the highest since 2009. So when the day Lumpkin was sworn in, outgoing Chief Julie Tolbert joked there would be no honeymoon. And with crime continuing to rise, WJCL News working for you to find out what's happening to reduce the numbers. On Thursday, Savannah Chatham Metro Police Chief Joseph Lumpkin honored several officers. But two months on the job, he wishes he had more medals to hand out. Our attrition rate has been significantly high, which impacts the services that you can provide on the street. To learn more on what kind of an impact it's having, Lumpkin spoke to WJCL News about his first 66 days. Here's a look at the violent crime over the past two months compared to the same time last year. With nearly all higher numbers, WJCL News asked Lumpkin about what he's going to do to fix it. Homicides up, street robberies up, total violent crime is all up since you've taken over. So what would you tell people that you're doing differently to try and get these numbers down because they keep going up? What we're doing different, we're trying to establish trust with the community. There's no information flowing into the police department. It's not just all about lack of trust. Lumpkin says there are other factors. He says officers need better training and leadership, plus they're 13% understaffed. So now he's working on a recruitment plan. We're going to say of this community first. New tools and technology are coming to help officers fight crime. Chief Lumpkin says here at the Central Precinct, starting this weekend, every officer will be outfitted with a body camera. Technology and a change in culture are things he's focused on because he says there's still a lot to do. I don't break myself. Uh, th this is a, not an academic pursuit uh, type. Uh, this is a process. We're going to learn more about the process Tomorrow, Metro says it plans to release its 2014 crime statistics. Reporting in the studio, Nick Notario, WJCL News, working for you.